place where we can go, where it's always shining like the snow. Listen to your heartbeat, don't you know that I just wanna be with you, baby. There is a place where we can go. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new vlog. It's actually Saturday, and I'm vlogging because my bun is there, actually. I'm having a. It's Saturday at 8.30 in the morning and I'm going food shopping. If you watched my week in my life vlog, you know I didn't really do much yesterday, Friday. I did work and worked out and everything like that, but I didn't leave the house or go food shopping. And tomorrow's the Super Bowl. And the last thing in the world I want to do is be surrounded by people on Sunday in the grocery store, but not only regular people, Super Bowl shoppers at the grocery store. So I'm avoiding all of that by going today. I woke up around 6.30, which was nice. As you guys know, I'm trying to like keep a consistent sleep schedule. So I woke up around 6.30 naturally. I didn't set an alarm or anything because I went to bed around 12 last night, which is pretty late for me these days because I was watching you on Netflix. So I went to bed pretty late, but um, I still woke up early and I was like, I'm going to seize the day and I'm going to go grocery shopping and meal prep and I need to write my opening statement or at least like prepare my opening statement. I don't really plan on writing it out for trial advocacy. I don't plan on writing out my whole like 15 minute speech because that's just way too much work that I don't feel like doing. Um, I'm just kind of going to do like a timeline of events of what I want to talk about. Oh, my camera's gonna die. Great. So, I'll vlog on my phone at the grocery store if anything eventful occurs, but that's the plan. Grocery shopping, then meal prep, hopefully do homework, maybe I'll socialize later. I gotta text Martine and Corey and see what they're up to today, and that's really it. So, I'll TTYL and I'll charge this camera when I get home. Just got done with grocery shopping. I followed my budget strictly, so I'm proud of myself. Got Starbucks, which was on Jesse's Starbucks card, so it was part of my budget, because <laughs> it's free. Um, I'm going home now. I really did stick to my budget. Like I made sure everything I got was on sale, or at least not expensive. Like that freaking Stoke iced coffee that I drink every day basically is never on sale. Ever. And it's just some other stuff that I buy like it's just never really on sale but still I only spent $50 for all my lunch and dinner for this week. Um, again I eat a lot of food that my parents buy so that's not like $50 for everything but I eat a lot of my parents food so. I'm not going to do a grocery haul today because I got pretty much the exact same things I get every week. However, I will show you the meals that I'm making this week because they're a little different because I can't do cauliflower rice and chicken anymore. I'm going to throw up if I look at it again. I'm literally going to throw up. I like barely ate most of my meals this week. I ate like half of it because I just couldn't eat it. It was sickening to me. So I'm making some new recipes this week. So I'll show you that later. So, so far, this is what I've made. It's five 
meals. And they each have about a serving and a half of this bonza chickpea pasta. Some fresh mozzarella balls that I chopped up and some Italian dressing. I thought that we had balsamic vinaigrette here, which is like what the recipe called for, but we didn't. So Italian kind of does the same thing. And then I put cucumbers and tomatoes in there. And then I have chicken in the oven, which I marinated in honey mustard because I saw a recipe online and that's what they did. I also bought four of these Annie's shells macaroni and cheese because I love craft macaroni and cheese. And I had that for dinner one night this week and I had it for lunch yesterday. And I love it, but obviously Kraft macaroni and cheese is so bad. It's literally all chemicals. So at least that's organic. So if I had that in like a salad or something, that would be a good dinner for me the nights I get home really late. And I don't really care if something's like unhealthy or not organic, but Kraft macaroni and cheese kind of crosses a line for me. My tip if you're meal prepping pasta is well, first of all, this bonza pasta, you really need to rinse off because it'll taste like chickpeas if you don't. So boil it and then rinse it. And then I drain it really well and I let it sit in a bowl with the Italian dressing until it's completely cooled off. Then I add the vegetables and then I put it in Tupperware. Because if you put hot pasta with vegetables, they get all soggy. And then if you put it in a Tupperware, it's going to be super mushy. So that's my tip. And this is the final product. It's a nice little sort of like caprese chicken salad in a way, but there's no balsamic. Kind of looks a little gross, but I swear it's gonna be good. I got a lot of my to-do list done today. I meal prepped, vacuumed. I have to put vacuum on my to-do list or else, or else I will not do it. Like I hate vacuuming, so. Food chopped, vacuumed, meal prepped. I just did my learning journal for my externship and emailed that to my professor. Uh, I did some other stuff too, I don't really remember, but I just need to do my little outline, timeline sort of thing for my opening statement today and like kind of go through the case because I honestly don't even know what all the evidence is. I need to... I mean, I really should edit a video, but I can do that tomorrow because I didn't realize the Super Bowl wasn't until 6 o'clock at night. I, for some reason, thought it was like at 3 o'clock. I don't know why. And just kind of hang in. Jesse went to work. He was here this morning, but I didn't vlog him, I don't think. But he went to work. I don't really know if I'm going to do anything tonight. I kind of want to because I didn't do anything yesterday. I haven't done anything at all, really. I didn't even do anything last weekend. So... I kind of do want to do something, but I don't also know. I will update you all as the day progresses because um, I'm not doing anything right now. And this is kind of boring, isn't it? I got a lot of questions on my last video, my previous few videos, and on Instagram. What nail polish color I had on? And they were not nail polish. It, my nails were not... I didn't have nail polish on my nails. There we go. I had these Kiss Press On Nails, the gel fantasy ones, and the color is, I don't know, it doesn't say. I think it's, I don't know, 60674, but it's just like a light pink, and they're amazing. I put them back on. It comes with enough that you can do two sets, but you kind of like the second set it won't fit as well as the first one, obviously, because you use the ones that fit really well the first time around. So the second time around, I just have to trim a lot of them, but they look really good. I love them. I just hated the way my nails looked before. Okay, I am out of the shower. I dermaplaned my face, which is why it's a little red right now. And I just use the Tinkle Razors. That's the brand. I don't know why Tinkle was a good word that they decided to use, but it was. So Tinkle Razors and I just dermaplane Maybe once a week, but I've been really dry, like around my mouth area. So my makeup has been looking really bad. So I made it a point to do that today. You know what I'm going to do is start an Amazon page and link all the stuff on that page that I have from Amazon because so much of my life I buy on Amazon. I feel like that would just be so much more simple. So I'm going to do that. I'm really not sure what I'm doing today, tonight. So I don't know if I want to put on my like thick moisturizer or like moisturizer I wear when I 
um, do things. Like, I don't, what am I even saying? Anyways, going on my computer now to make an Amazon page because I think that might be a good idea. So, yeah. Okay, it's a little while later. I've been working, not, I mean, I wouldn't really say working, but I've been doing my opening statement a little bit, just kind of outlining what I want to talk about. I'm not going to write the full thing out. I'm just not writing a 15 minute speech out. I'm not doing it. So I'm just gonna do like a timeline, but so many of you guys asked me to show how I use the iPad Pro for my notes. And I guess I'll show you this, even though it's not technically notes, but I'll show you. And by the way, I'm using the Word app, just like the regular Microsoft Word app. I really like it for taking notes, just jotting stuff down. I don't see the point in paying eight, nine, ten dollars for an app that can do the exact same thing as a free app. And I'm very loyal to my Microsoft Office products and it's hard for me to stray. But basically what I did was draw two columns. So this is what I'm gonna talk about. Obviously it's a murder case. So this is what I'm gonna talk about. And then this is what the defense is going to introduce in their opening statement. My handwriting is so bad, what should I write? That's my awful handwriting. Like there's not even an I here. But I really, really do love the iPad for taking notes, especially if you want to write your notes. I mean, for typing notes, if you just like to type notes and you have a laptop, literally there's no reason to get an iPad. In fact, I actually returned that typing case that I got, not because it wasn't good or anything, but I don't use my iPad to type notes. And the keyboard on the iPad is honestly huge and it's a really good so if you wanted to type notes you could easily do it on the iPad like you don't need a case unless you're using it as your computer but I'm not I use it to take notes with the pencil and I love it and I use it for you know Excel I have I have the New York penal law app so I mean it's obviously just the New York penal law not much about it so if you're talking about second degree murder, you see it right here, 125, 25. And then you could do like 125 subsection 1A, you know, and it's right there. And you can scroll through them all too. So you don't have to like keep going back to the glossary or the index. You can just scroll through them all. So I have that one. This one is free. This one you have to pay for, which I don't know why. This one, New York Crim Pro, it said you have to pay for it, but I don't really, I've never come across having to pay for anything. So you can go to like evidence rules and standards of proof, definitions, you know? Really, really useful if you're like a new lawyer. So that's how I use my iPad for school. Nothing too crazy. But I will do a video, like everyone said, once I actually like know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm not doing anything tonight either. Can you believe it? I didn't do anything last night and I'm not doing anything tonight. So that's kind of a problem for me, but I'm going to, um, well, I had some of that, well, I had Annie's macaroni and cheese for dinner a little bit earlier. It was probably like 3.30, but it's gonna be my dinner because I ate the whole box, so that's dinner. Um, I'm going to break out my trial advocacy book, my evidence, and I'm going to get to it writing my, or drafting my opening statement because I have to give my opening on Tuesday and I don't have any time to do it Monday because I'll be at work. So, and I also wanted to film one more outfit for my outfit of the week video because it was only four outfits and only three of them were business professional because I don't dress up on Thursday, Fridays. So I'm going to just like get one more outfit together and put it in the video just to kind of show you another option, even though I didn't actually wear it to work, but um, I don't really feel like doing that right now. So I'll get to that eventually. So I'm finally trying on what I got from J. Crew, um, which was two pairs of pants and a blazer. I didn't try the blazer on because I know I'll like it, but these are the ruby pants in light gray. And I just want to say that they totally fit different than the navy blue pair I have. These are way tighter. They're still fine, but like they're definitely tighter. 
but these pants, these are the Lexi pants. Oh my God, guys, they're so unflattering. They're not even like skinny on the bottom. They're like straight leg. The color is not good. The, they rise like just to the widest part of your hip. So they're super unflattering. And the size six was way too tight. And these are a size six and these fit fine. So I don't really know. So I'll be returning those and maybe I'll get another pair of the ruby pants in like a black or I don't know, maybe like a, a lighter color because for the summer I'll need pants also and I don't want to wear black every single day. But I guess that's contingent on me getting a summer job, which I still don't have, which is very annoying and unfortunate, but... I guess we'll have to see what happens. I know I'll end up working somewhere, but it's just very stressful because you hear everyone getting their summer job and their placements, and I'm like, yeah, I don't have a job yet, so. <laughs> Anyways, glad I tried this stuff on because I have to return those pants. But now I'm going to self-tan because I scrubbed off my self-tanner, as you can tell, and I'm a little too pale for my liking. Okay, I am all tanned. Let's see if you can even tell. You can kind of tell on my neck. This is the naked self tanner in dark. I will show you. Naked skin tan in dark. I don't hate it. It gives you a nice color, but I swear the second you wash off like this instant layer, which I'll shower in the morning, it's like so much lighter you almost don't even look like you tanned and then after like two showers it's all gone so i don't know i guess you could like do a different layer like every day but i don't want to do that but it's all right i have it so i'll just use it but but my camera is flashing it's gonna die and i'm not doing anything for the rest of the night i'm just gonna hang out probably do some homework and lay in bed so i'm just gonna end the vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this little saturday in my life even though i didn't really do anything too crazy but just kind of a regular saturday in my life if you liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want more weekend vlogs and more vlogs just like this then let me know in the comments subscribe if you aren't and i'll see you again in the next video peace out in my really classy shirt